that decides that my body image has to be a certain size in order for me to feel good. So you're saying I'm not sure who ought to decide that, but it damn sure ain't Phil. Okay. That's right. Uh -huh. My name is Stacia. I love the Dr. Phil show. I would love to challenge Dr. Phil on the fact that you can be fat and happy. I weigh a little over 400 pounds and I'm perfectly happy. Today, I've absolutely accepted myself for who I am. I know that I matter and I know that I mean a great deal to other people. Marilyn, is there a difference between saying, I'm glad that I weigh what I weigh, I'm happy about this, and saying, I accept it? I accept the weight and I am profoundly happy in my life because of the other things that I've chosen to do. And he came on with his opinion that you could not have a good body image and be happy if you were overweight. I could not believe that that was what he was actually saying because I thought that was so ridiculous. Because I'm telling you, I don't think y'all should weigh what you weigh. I think that you should not do that. I think it's got health repercussions. You can have a self-image that is fully happy, fully functioning, fully developed. And, and be a huge contributor to society and all, and have a body image that is not in the same place. From a very young age, food was always the enemy. My father is the type of person who, as a teenager, if I weighed 105 pounds, he'd tell me, if you lose five more pounds, I'll buy you a new wardrobe. I don't agree with my doctor saying that I need to lose weight because when you can show me that it's going to make a difference, then I would be more apt to believe that. Being thin does not guarantee me a long life, so I'm happy where I am. When I look at you, I do have a reaction, mm -hmm. and my reaction is I see danger. I would rather die at 70 eating chocolate cake and having a steak than live to 80 and eat carrot sticks and celery. I really feel I'm a sexy, vibrant, incredible human being, and I don't think you can say that overweight people cannot be happy with what they look like. Size has nothing to do with that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so your theory is that you can be, in your words, fat and happy, the two don't have anything to do with each other, and you completely disagree with my, was it ridiculous position? Was ridiculous. That ridiculous position. Mm -hmm. All right. So l let's talk about that. You, you, what is it p precisely that I said that you disagree with? I think that body image does not have anything to do with your size. I know plenty of people who are extraordinarily thin and have horrible body images. I know people who are right in the middle that have terrible body images. And who is it that decides exactly what size you have to be to look good? Um, I feel like I look good now. When I was very thin, I thought I looked terrible. So, you know, who is it that decides that my body image has to be a certain size in order for me to feel good? So you're saying I'm not sure who ought to decide that, but it damn sure ain't Phil? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm helping you here. I'm, I'm helping you make your argument. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. All right, and so you didn't like me saying people can't be fat and happy. That's right. Well, you know, it's interesting that you say, you, so you watch the show. Yes. Start to finish. Mm -hmm. On your TV. Well, I have three kids, so I mean, you know, there are moments where I, I have to separate them. Don't start moonwalking on me now, girl. <laughs> I don't be laying it off on your kids. I said quite the contrary. I said body image and self-image don't matter. They're, I mean, they're not connected. It, the fact that one is good and the other is bad can be completely two independent mm -hmm. positions. I covered several specific myths in the mm -hmm. show about overweight people. Let's take a look right. at the one that is particularly on point. Fat people are always unhappy being fat. I don't believe that at all. Right. I think some people... I think they're happy in spite of it instead of because of it. Did you miss that part? No, I, I understood that. I guess my thought on that was that my life is not going to be more fulfilled being thin. I'm not, ha I'm not happy in, you know, I don't feel in spite of being fat. I don't think it really happy has anything to do with it. So I guess, and maybe I missed your point, but the point is, is that I felt like it wasn't, <laughs> that I'm happy, and it doesn't have anything to do with fat, not fat, you know, funny, you know, it's just nothing to do with it. What? <laughs>